dealer fees, and why they should not be paid. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Dealers are notorious for tacking on what amounts to fake fees into their car deals. And that's a really basic reason a dealer fee should not be paid. Not everyone thinks about the fundamental reason a car costs more on a dealer's lot than it does from a private party seller. Dealers kind of wish you'd never realize this fact. That's right. The dealer has responsibilities that a private party seller does not. That's understood. What accounts for part of the difference in detailing the car, prepping it and making it nice and clean for the buyer, if they actually do it. So you should never pay a dealer prep fee because you're already being charged for it built right into the dealer retail price. That's absolutely right. Another thing that accounts for the difference in dealer retail and a private party seller price is that the dealer takes care of transferring the title with the state and applies for your license plates and collects sales taxes. Sure. A private party seller has none of that responsibility. When you think about something like a document fee, you're already being charged for that service simply by the fact that you're paying the dealer a retail price. So how do you handle a dealer that is in love with their fees? Our viewer Charles McKinley gets it. He writes, let them know up front that you will only discuss an out-the-door final price and stick to it. Remind them of it as needed. If they won't agree to that up front, walk. Walk out. Either they'll cave in or you have dodged a bullet. That's a good point. With that agreement in place, you don't care what extra fees they add or what they call them. You have no need to argue about them. Fine, let them. You just keep reminding them that the agreement was a final total out-the-door price. Point out that the fee they just mentioned is already included in the price. Don't play their games and set up the rules up front. That's right. Charles is right on the money on this. And the other thing is, is when you have that whole thing out the door in writing from the dealership, you bring it to the dealership. Well, then you're in the position to file a complaint with the FTC. And, you know, some of those FTC settlements work out to you getting a free car out of the deal. So, yeah, for sure, file a complaint when you have a written deal that you walk into the dealership. It's very refreshing to hear from viewers who totally get it like Charles does. I would add to this by saying that you can accomplish this from the comfort of home. No need to go to the dealership to get an out the door price. Do it via email. Dealers stay up at night thinking of new fees to charge, like the stupid accommodation fee we've been hearing about. Our viewer Kevin Jester commented on our Facebook page. My dad saw a dealership that had an accommodation fee of $5,000. Accommodation fee? Totally ridiculous. Fake fee is written all over that. And 5000 bucks, Greed by dealers knows no limits. More and more customers do understand the value of what we teach. Like this viewer, Guy B, who says, Hi Kevin, Elizabeth. I have watched a lot of your videos with the intent of buying a new truck. I studied the videos for weeks, mostly pertaining to the fake fees. I finally found the truck I wanted and proceeded to start dealing. At the end of the day, I was totally disappointed. I came loaded with all your wisdom and not one fee was pitched to me. <laughs> <laughs> I had intended paying cash for my purchase because at the time, the manufacturer was offering $10,000 off the specific model I wanted, and I don't know whether they knew this or not. Your videos are a must for car buyers. Thanks, Guy, for your intelligent and thoughtful endorsement of our content. And you see, you guys, more dealers are getting it that they can't charge you fees, and some actually are not, like in Guy's case. Yep. And way to go doing your homework guy on fake fees. Some dealers are so ridiculous about fees that they even think they can get a customer to come back in to sign a new contract because they forgot to charge them a fee <laughs> like this viewer. Brian writes, my dealer sent me a contract next day error saying they made a mistake and I need to re-sign. They charged me $789 in Tennessee. No dice to those idiots, Brian. Don't sign, don't go back. There is one fee that's legitimate on a new vehicle, and it was recently questioned by viewer V. Venkatesh. The question is, is a delivery destination fee a legitimate charge, please? Also, is it included in the dealer invoice price? Kevin, you answered by saying, it's quite often on the invoice and is a separate charge to the dealer from the manufacturer. Explain that a little bit more, Kevin. A destination fee is a legitimate fee that comes from the manufacturer for shipping the new car to the dealership. It is included in the MSRP and you should pay it. However, check for that fee on the Monroney window sticker to see if it is already included in the MSRP. And mm -hmm. if it is, do not agree to pay it as a separate line item on your car contract. If you do, you're paying for it twice. Don't get caught by the old double dip. <laughs> and yes, dealers will most definitely charge it twice if they can get away with it and pocket the money. Now, how do you deal with dealers who love to charge fees? You do it by getting an out-the-door price via email. The especially bad dealers don't like this technique because it takes away all their leverage. Like this viewer states, Slavic Bower writes, 
I notice a lot of car sales don't like email and text. They'd rather have you there in person at their desk where they can be in control. Plus, having stuff in writing puts them at a disadvantage. Bingo, Slavic. Having the out-the-door price in hand is a disadvantage to dealers, and that's exactly where you want them, at a disadvantage. Of course, they want you sitting at their desk where they can control you. Don't give them that advantage. This technique happens to be step two on the free car buyer's guide we just posted. Yep. Make sure you visit our website to check it out and print off the PDF for your use. By the way, the car buyer's guide we put together not only includes your initial recommended steps, but there's also some great questions to ask for those of you considering a lease. Also questions for cash buyers to ask so that you know what methods a dealer prefers for accepting a cash purchase from you. It also has some suggestions if you're buying used and some questions to ask if you're responding to a low rate financing promotion. It's available for free on our website, thehomeworkguide.com. When you have completed the steps and questions on the car buyer's outline, that is when you are ready to make a visit to the dealer with the best out the door price. This is the appropriate time to get in touch with us as well and let us know you're ready for a dealer visit. We'll be just a phone call away. You can take us with you. Contact us by email to kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or by text 701-441-3399. Please text us your name so we know who we're talking to. If you do email us ahead of time, we will do you the favor of emailing you a copy of the Car Buyer's Guide. Also, for those of you who ordered a car and or put a deposit on the vehicle, you should know that there's no problem with switching if you want to and going to another dealer. No dealer can keep your deposit legally, no matter if they say it's non-refundable right. without violating state law and consumer protection laws. Many people don't realize this, like a viewer who commented on her Facebook page regarding our car buyer's guides. Cecilia Fox writes, thanks, but I can't even find the Toyota I think I want in order to test drive them. How can I be expected to order one? The dealers can't get them for their lots because they are prioritizing the customer orders. They want a non-refundable deposit for cars that they can turn over to another buyer. It's ridiculous. Well, Cecilia, the dealer cannot keep your deposit, so you can feel free to take your money and move on. Check out this story by our good friend, Dan Whitney, who had a client where the dealer kept their $5,500 deposit and ended up paying 12 times that amount, 66,000 bucks for their stupid stunt. One more comment from Facebook by Dr. Gregory Lasker. Kevin, thank you so much for your help today. Just hours after posting your offer for free car buying assistance, you responded to my urgent request for negotiating support at the dealership. My factory ordered 2023 Chevy Blazer Redline Edition arrived 24 hours earlier and I was dreading the negotiation on the price. You were on the speakerphone as promised, backing me up when I was in the finance office. The single biggest money saving advice of yours that I employed was the phrase for the repair order on the pre-delivery inspection, no dealer add-on, RO for the PDI when I originally placed the order. The dealership did not attempt to add fees for clear coat, undercoat, theft protection, glass etching, extended warranties, gap insurance, or all the favorite stuff. Yeah, or any of the other padding. I ended up paying cash in the end and the final price was $2,000 under MSRP. The negotiation and paperwork took just one hour. The advice that Kevin and Elizabeth give is right on point and very effective. Thank you again, Kevin and Elizabeth. You two really do rock. Gregory L. Lakeland, Florida. Dr. Greg, it was a pleasure assisting you. And yes, I do know he was a doctor. I spoke to him. And folks, you noted he said he paid under MSRP. So that is already happening. There is zero doubt that below MSRP deals will become commonly available by June. Last reminder, if you're financing, get in touch with your local credit union and see our recent show on credit unions if you want to know more. Yes, we mentioned on that video that credit unions go to bat for you and a viewer identifying themselves as FN stated, you are absolutely correct. I work in indirect lending vehicle loans for a credit union. Awesome. We limit how much products they, the dealer, can sell a consumer. On credit union websites, you can find financial education resources too. Credit unions want to help people. That is very different from a car dealer. Boom, there you have it. If you appreciated today's show, could I ask you to do us a favor? Visit our Facebook page, leave us a comment and a review, and share what you've learned from us over the past several years, and then stop by our website too, thehomeworkguy.com. The free car buyer's guide is there. And while you're visiting, if you're interested in giving the best possible care to your used car, check out the XCAPS and AMS oil links. The website is where you can find links for these products for future reference. Both products are a great way to save on gas expenses and keep your used vehicle running in tip-top shape. 13 years on YouTube has been an unbelievable journey for us folks, and we do appreciate each and every one of you for joining us. 
If you'd like to show some gratitude by sending us a tip, the links appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box below. PayPal, Cash App, and of course, Venmo. So many of you have tipped us over the last 13 years. It's been humbling. We, please accept our gratitude. We really appreciate your thoughtful kindness. Like a waiter in a restaurant, we're in the service business and totally voluntary tips do provide a good indicator to tell us how much you appreciate what we do. I also want to remind our viewers of our generous offer for free car buying assistance. It's not an automated line, folks, so you actually get us. Yes, we answer the phone. You don't have to blow your hard-earned cash on a silly and often ineffective car club membership. Just send us a text to 701-441-3399 with your name and we'll be on standby the next time you visit a car dealer. We look forward to hearing from you. As you car shop, we will assist you with directions on how to get an out-the-door price, including all fees on your next car purchase. And yes, we'll recommend that you get started with a local credit union if you're financing. And no problem contacting us months before you're looking to buy. We can make you darn near bulletproof in that time frame. Totally. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guide channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on places like Facebook and Twitter. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful followers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Once again, still earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.